Hi, Misha here, and welcome to the first Mishako channel black box. Although, I thought I'd start off with not being a black box, so there would be a thumbnail image. And kind of start off by talking about some upcoming videos, things we're working on. And got some teaser guns here. And then we're going to talk about some hopefully exciting news coming up as soon as tomorrow. And some other kind of channel minutiae. So, let's get into it. First things first. Working on several videos, including shooting the LMT. We talked about the uh, L129A1 this summer. Not only are we going to be shooting it, we're actually going to be comparing it with another LMT or two, not to mention some other guns. And yes, don't worry, we're wrapping up the M77, the Zastava. We had to get some more 308, so that'll probably be one day. And Patreons voted either a deep dive AR. 15 AR-10 video or FAL L1A1 video, the FAL L1A1 uh, one. I held off doing it though because at first I was trying to get access to one gun I didn't own. Not only did that happen, actually something very cool just came in. Similar to this gun here, but different. So, a bit of a teaser. So that video will be coming and I am happy I held off because it is going to be a better video for the two borrowed guns. And two of my own guns here are a bit of a teaser. Got a bit of a theme video coming up. I'll just give you a couple of hints. Remember last year we did that GoldenEye video? And now we're going to be doing another media video specifically relating to a TV show slash movie. And here are your two hints as to what that's going to be. Should be a lot of fun, get a few people involved, and be both historical and modern, both fiction and non-fiction. So, we'll see who can guess in the comments below. And with that, if you could support us on Patreon, that would be very, very useful right now. Because, uh, yeah, things are pretty slow on YouTube. It's no one's fault, it's just YouTube being YouTube. But if you can't, just liking, sharing, promoting, that, that helps a lot, too. And, uh been trying to do some um, kind of special versions of videos over on Patreon, some other things, and we held off posting for the next Q&A video for a good reason. And so let's switch over to the black box part and we'll discuss what we're planning again, hopefully tomorrow. Alrighty, uh, for anyone who knows my personal channel, you know I do these black box videos you know, once, twice a month, sometimes more, sometimes less when I have things to say. And it's just me sitting out, usually in the yard, on my swing, talking about stuff. But I've held off doing them on the main channel here because I think most people want visual candy. But Pox, uh, Pox, Fox, we we'll go with Pox. He was Booch, now he's Pox. Pointed out something that this year, a lot of gun channels have only been like 40% gun review and like 60% politics or, you know, drama, you know, firearms industry drama stuff. We're not going to do that. But I got to thinking, if people just want to hear people talk, I could do more just by talking about things. Either guns that I don't have, because people have asked me to talk about, for example, the Chinese bullpups or the, uh, the Seiko RK95. Well, I don't have those guns. And as you know, I'm blind, so I can't really throw in pictures here effectively. I mostly do these videos that when you just see me. When Fox does videos, he does those, and when we're together, it's kind of a split, but yeah. Anyway, let me know how you like doing black boxes here, and if they are relatively well received, maybe I'll do more, especially as political events happen and uh, things need discussing or you know, there's a new exciting import. So with that out of the way, we did our last Q&A in July. Typically what we've been doing since the days of Jay and the beginning of Patreon is I'll post a thread over on Patreon for two or three months and people can add questions to it and then we answer them. The problem with that, especially three months out, is a lot of the older questions may not be valid anymore. Now if it's, it's time sensitive I usually go ahead and reply to the Patreon directly by email and still answer their question on the video later but either way and of course we're in the era of live streaming that's been the, the norm on most YouTube channels for years now 
Unfortunately, again, because I'm blind, yes, it's annoying. It annoys me, it annoys you, but that's just life. What can you do? I also have a deaf cat, by the way, and a three-legged cat. We're like the island of misfit people around here. But I can't do live streams. I mean, I can participate in them, obviously. We did one with a nine-home review last year in Clayco 47, but I can't run one. Uh, my TTS just really can't read the stuff and trying to listen to it talk while listening, it's, it's not gonna happen. Therefore, I need help. And uh, Fox has been A, busy, and B, he's not a computer guy, but a mutual friend of ours, who hopefully will be helping me build the cabin starting very, very soon. In fact, we're meeting tomorrow with him to put flags down. Does live streams. Maybe we'll even do some together. He has his own YouTube channel. But he's going to show Fox the ins and outs. Because again, I don't use the phone app, so I wouldn't be able to tell Fox what to do. So he's hopefully going to show Fox how to do a live stream. And if that works out tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be doing a test live stream here tomorrow evening. I don't know the time, I'm sorry, and it's mostly going to be a test, but hey, if you're hearing this video tonight, yeah, you might check out the channel tomorrow. If there's no live stream, sorry, things went foobar, but if there is one, it'll be more of a test thing, it'll just a few people, I'm sure, hanging out, but if that works, then probably in a week or two, we'll do an actual live stream, you know, posted, that kind of thing, and um, Maybe even call it my birthday live stream, and I'll even take shots with you guys or whatever you want to do. Answer gun questions or just live questions. And Fox mentioned he's a he's a, a bourbon, a whiskey collector. He said if we hit 75k subs before the end of the year, he'll crack open one of his high top shelf bottles of bourbon. You know, one of the nearly gun priced ones. So that might be fun. We could take shots of it on live stream. Crossing fingers. I uh, hope all goes well, but that's kind of the biggest news is we might be trying to switch over from doing Patreon Q&A's every two to three months and uh, Doing live streams every you know two to three weeks on here and we'll have to figure out how to do that with Patreons Maybe we'll do a separate Patreon one or give priority questioning. We'll work it out Just wanted to let you know we have been trying and it is my fault because again, my physical situation is just, it is what it is. So uh, we're trying our best to work around it. So that's why we haven't posted a, a Q and A recently. And that's why there hasn't been a lot going on here. We've been trying to do things behind the scenes, but while I've got your attention, while you're still hanging out, let's talk about a few of the things that have been happening and upcoming things and, you know, goods, the bads, the uglies, and uh, maybe some more cat news. Hobo. Hello, Hobo. Hobo. I do want to say that uh, Fox has been out of town on business for two weeks, which made things difficult. And when I say out of town, I mean you had across the con continent and working. So it's just it's just what it is, you know main job type thing so that that's part of it um, part of it too is we went through a little thing with YouTube they started to try and did it to monetize all the videos a couple of weeks ago and uh, it got weird um, luckily most of them they, they came back but there's just some it was really peculiar because I would post a video and it would get flagged but I'd post the same video but with a different title and it would go through so obviously we were riding the line on something there and of course, anyone who deals with YouTube, they don't tell you. If, if they would just tell us the rules, we'd obey them. We might not like them, we might grumble, but that's okay. But we would obey them. It's kind of like being a guest in someone's house, you know? If they say, take your shoes off and put on these slippers, you might grumble. You might like to wear your shoes, but you're in someone else's house. You'll, you'll do it, right? Even if you grumble. I kind of feel the same way about posting on YouTube. I don't have to like it, but it's their house, so I'll put on their damn slippers. But when they don't tell you what to do, but tell you you're doing something wrong, but not what, man, that makes it really hard. So just wish they would just tell us. So we went through a spat of that, but I'm hoping that's over. And so we can kind of get back to posting videos because it, it doesn't really help to post things if no one sees them or views them. And it's not you guys' fault, it's just the website. So that's a few things that have been happening. On the gun industry side, 
it's been dead. There just have not been any new guns. You know, the whole stuff with Sestaba, not only have there not been a lot of new things from them, there hasn't been even continuation of a lot of the current stuff. Nothing new from Arsenal. I check in with them. Nothing you get excited about there. There's been a few variants from like WBP and Pioneer of different calibers or different wood types, but that kind of gets to the other problem. Now, we don't get t &E guns here, as a rule. We buy our guns. Sometimes at full, full price. I'm not going to put money into a gun just to do a review, knowing I can't get the money back out of it if I want to sell it down the road. AKs are too expensive for that right now. And ammo's too expensive. We'd rather save what money we have in the budget for ammo, for like that 308 I mentioned, than buy, oh, well, this is a, this is a new AK, but only on a different caliber. You know, we tried that with the Wasser 3. We saw how well that turned out, which we need to revisit. On the other hand, it worked out well for the Asian Contract AK from Atlantic. That, that's a keeper, by the way, for me. And then, of course, most recently, I posted a video of that Zestava uh, M64 slash M65, whatever you'd like to call it. So, yeah, those have been new. And there have been some new handguns that I want to get out. For example, there was a batch of West German police trade-in PPs, Walters PPs. So I think it's about time to do a PP, PPK video again with more shooting. Um, might have to wait just a bit because right now is the beginning of rifle season here and uh, hunters don't really care for it when you go out in the woods and blast a lot of rounds so out of respect for our uh, sportsman neighbors we might pull back on the shooting until thanksgiving just to give them time to do some hunting there were also some uh, k98s that came in they were portuguese contract but they were out of nazi germany and uh, picked up a couple of those and they're pretty nice so that might be a good reason to shoot some 8mm and I do have some 8mm ammo around here so yeah we'll see um, a few other neat things that have come in posted that video on the Valmet M76 308 side folder um, guys go watch that video um, in the past a lot of Valmet videos have done really well I'm sure it's because YouTube's not really promoting it, but that's a really interesting, cool gun. And there's only a couple of other videos on all of YouTube on that variant. So uh, when you're bored one night and can't sleep, let me put you to sleep by talking about a Finnish AK that hasn't been made since the 1980s. How about that? And of course, we've got a couple of more kind of elaborate videos. The FAL will be coming, I promise. And that'll be followed up later by an AR-10, AR-15 video, as promised too. But FAL comes first, the Patreon say. And uh, maybe some more TV themed, especially if we do a couple and they, they do good reception. Basically, we want to make the videos we want to make, but we also want to make the videos you want to, to see, or in the case of this video, listen to. So please interact with us, especially if you're on Patreon. Tell us what you'd want to see. And there might just be something where we can't get the gun. If you say do a video on shooting the FAMAS, unless you got one you're going to ship to us, that ain't happening. But if you want to see us talk about something we either have or can get or doesn't need shooting, uh, let us know. We're, we, we, we welcome video ideas because some days we just don't have any. We'll be like, we want to do a video, but on what? It's kind of old hat and everything's so pricey now, especially shooting ammo. We don't want to go out and, uh, you know, waste it, if that makes sense. So, yeah, please do, either in this comment section or even better on or over on Patreon. Please do that. And if you just want to just hear me ramble and stuff, I do have a personal channel. Uh, it's just titled Misha, and I'll put a link in the description. But... Uh, when I do this, my most recent video was looking at the, uh, the, the, the jets of the Japanese Air Self-Defense Forces. Before that, I did a video on um, Cad Bane from Star Wars. And before that, I did a Star Trek video. And before that, I did a black box. And it's very eclectic over there. Plus, sometimes I put sneak peeks to Mishiko channel videos on the personal channel. Or I'll do a you know gun comparison that doesn't really warrant a full video over here. But... Um, you know warrants a video over there because it's just my unprepped just having fun channel but um, you know if you want to go have fun and want some content and things are a little slow around here then you might go check that out as uh, well be nice
So in conclusion, we're trying. We're trying very hard. But sometimes life is hard. Sometimes things keep going wrong or your hopes get up and then down. I discussed several things that happened or were supposed to happen for both Fox and I together and separately this year that just didn't happen. It's, it's been a year of a lot of hard knocks. But all you can do is keep on going and trying to maintain some optimism. Holidays coming up. So for more on that, you can check out my personal channel. I try to keep this channel straightforward, not personal, not opinion. I don't think that'll ever change much, but um, yeah, you never know. But we'll, we'll get into it. The weather's turning nice. It's a little cool today, but it's going to get warmer this weekend. And uh, if you could share this video, like, subscribe, and uh, sometime between, I don't know, 5 and 10 tomorrow night, kind of look around the Mishiko channel, see if we post a live stream. If we didn't, uh, we'll, tr we'll try again. It won't, it's not like it's a one and done deal. We'll, we'll, we'll keep trying, but we'd like to start doing live streams with you guys. We think that'll be better for everyone and let everyone interact more because that's what's fun. It, it's, it can be hard making a video on your own, not just for me, but for Fox. But when you're in a room with two or three other people, it's so much easier to play off each other. So we need to try to do that more. And with the holidays coming up, that should be a, a good opportunity. I would remind you, we don't live together. We don't live in the same town. We live an hour and a half apart. But then again, Jay and I, when we were doing things, we, we lived a good 45 minutes apart. Everyone lives apart now. So we do the best we can. It's just what it is. But yeah, check that out tomorrow. And uh, if you really, if you could pitch in a buck over on Patreon, that would really, really be helpful with the um, holidays coming up. And, and of course, if we get the live streaming going, maybe Super Chats. I have no idea how to do that, but I bet you, bet you I can learn one way or the other. But um, that's about it for today. I just wanted to do a little update video. Let me know how you like black boxes in general, if you don't mind just kind of listening to me. Maybe we'll do these once or twice a week on this channel too, because they've, they've been pretty successful over on my personal channel. And they're a lot easier to do, and they're not at risk of demonetization or you know, upsetting anyone on, uh, on YouTube there. So don't want to ruffle any feathers. Just, you can't, because, yeah, if you didn't. But, um, but yeah, that's it, guys. This is Misha. And by the way, I'm doing this video on the behest of Fox. He's the one that wanted me to do it. So on the behest of him too. And uh, we'll be seeing J-Row tomorrow. So the crew will basically be together. And maybe we'll beat some other family as time goes on. Because I kind of want to keep this a family affair. It's, it's a good excuse to see family and have fun. And there's some fun behind the scenes stuff that we've we posted some of on Patreon. But uh, maybe we'll post more of the, the family being complete morons together. Uh, that might be of interest to you guys, especially as drinks flow. <laughs> Anywho, on behalf of everyone, this is Misha, and hopefully see you tomorrow night live. If not, still very soon next time.